Hello everyone, in today's lesson we'll be laying foundations for our awesome PowerPoint template. So we have to discuss a couple of important things and first of all aspect ratio. Should you use 16 by 9 or 4 by 3? That's, uh, that's a good question. So let's just jump to a fresh blank new presentation. Let's just go to design tab, slide size and here we have a couple of options 4 by 3 and 16 by 9. So let me just click on 4 by 3 so that we can see how it looks like. Let's just click on maximize. And as you can see, 4 by 3 looks pretty much like a square. It has this kind of squarish look. And widescreen 16 by 9 has a wider look. So I would suggest choosing 16 by 9 because this is the most common format these days and 4 by 3 was mostly used in the old days. Alright, so another important setting that we have to take care of is the slide size. So by default, when you create a fresh blank new presentation, a PowerPoint creates slides that have 720p resolution. And if you would like your template to look extra sharp and nice, then you would need to set your slides to full HD resolution. And for that, you have to increase the size of your slides. And we can do that at the same place where we have found the aspect ratios. We just have to insert the necessary values for the width and height. So let's get back to this presentation and here as you can see we have to insert 67.73 centimeters for the width. You can use the corresponding inch values if you have your system in inches. And for the width let's use 38.1 centimeters. And let's hit OK and just like that we have created full HD resolution for our template. So that's really awesome. It will look nice on screens and it will look nice when printed. All right, so now let's talk about slide guides and grids that help us to create awesome looking layouts. And if you have any experience with PowerPoint, you might have seen these center guides. So let me just jump back to our presentation. And first, let me choose a blank slide layout so that we can see our guides better. So let's just go to view tab and click on guides. And here we can see one vertical and one horizontal guide. And as you can see, they are placed at zero, both vertically and horizontally. Of course, you can change their position. You can change their color to orange or anything else. And of course, we can add additional vertical and horizontal guides. So that's super duper awesome. And this is only the beginning. We can add slide margins. So these are vertical and horizontal guides, which will help us and make sure that we don't place any slide content too close to the edge of the slide. So that's uh, really important. Next, we can add more vertical guides, which are columns, and they will help us to create well-balanced slide layouts. And for more flexibility, we can add rows, which will help us uh, to create even more flexible and amazing slide layouts. And if we want to get extra fancy, we can add gutters, which are basically spacing between columns and rows. And I'll show you later on when it's uh, quite a good idea to use a grid with gutters. But you might have a question, why should we use grids in the first place? So let me show you a couple of examples uh, why grid is pretty much useful. So let me just activate guides. As you can see, I have created uh, some guides in this uh, template. So let me just go to selection pane and let me show you some information about this grid. So I have created a grid 16 by 8. So we have uh, 16 columns. We have eight rows, we have a margin of three centimeters and we have no gutters. So no spacing between the columns, all right? And now as you can see, all of the slide content is nicely positioned, you know, on the grid. So the grid really helps us to space out and to position everything nicely. So that's why it's useful to have a grid. So one more example, as you can see on this slide as well, all of the slide content is positioned on the grid and everything looks well balanced. All right, and here is an example of a grid with uh, gutters. As you can see, we have some spacing between these photos. And uh, you know, this kind of layout is really useful when you are creating some kind of portfolio slide layout. All right, so now let me show you how we can actually set up a grid. We can do it manually or we can do it with a free PowerPoint add-in called BrightSlide. All right, so as before, we can click on guides to see our center guides. 
and we can click on control key to quickly copy any guide that we want so this way we can drag one to the left one to the right we can copy the horizontal guide as well and this way we can create margins uh, however it might become quite a tedious process when we want to create a more complex grid and for that reason uh, using the bright slide uh, free powerpoint add-in is a really good idea so you can find this add-in right here right uh, carbon.com all right so with this add-in we can first of all set our margins so i'm using uh, centimeters for units so three centimeters as you can see this margin has been added that's awesome all right for the column number let's type in uh, 16 and for rows let's type in 8. by the way if you don't have this powerpoint add-in i will attach this presentation as a resource in the project and resource section so make sure you have a nice grid ready and i'll see you in the next lesson where we will be defining our style we'll be looking for nice fonts and picking colors for our custom color palette see you there